Hello, Carrie here. Today I'm going to be working in my gardening journal. Here's the pieces of paper that I've gathered together, all gardening related. I've also been making some little cards that I'm going to pop inside here and there. I've got some ideas for the little ones. I made this tag, that's really pretty. I've also done some watercolour paintings, which I'm going to cut out and including pages. And I've got this page from the magazine that I purchased uh, with my supermarket challenge. So here's this lovely book. I'm going to decorate it at some stage, but not today. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do. So, basically, I'm going to get cracking. I'm going to try and get a couple of pages done. So this page um, has some costume in it, and the costume actually has a floral design on, so I don't want to lose all of that. So I'm just gathering together a few items, just to see what will work. I work best when I just try things out. If I don't like them, I don't use them, but I'll try them. I'll look at things and I'm going for a sort of garden colour scheme as well. Um, more greens than I usually use. And perhaps some floral colours as well. birds there because my garden is a host to quite a few birds mostly sparrows <laughs> the very naughty sparrow walk and I collect magazines and things to do usually in the summer I buy some gardening magazines and I've been saving those cutting out a few pictures that's nice that'll make a nice tag I'm going to save that I love that colour, it's very pretty, but I don't know why they're all diagonal. I think they should be straighter. Um, yes, I'm just sorting through, waiting for inspiration to hit. <laughs> love the butterfly on that. Don't like the thank you, but I can get rid of that easily enough. That's some more of my painting, some more painting. Did some leaves and feathers, I can use those. This is from a catalogue, I quite like the picture of the men and some of the vegetables as well. So, I've gone through all my bits and I'm still struggling for an idea. I think what I'll start with is a little, a little tag thing at the bottom there. I'm trying out different ones, whether to do a flip out. Eventually I settle on one. I decided to reorganise them while I was thinking. <laughs> I've got several of the same size and I think I might be able to do a little booklet with them. Or, or something else that I'm thinking of. That's really pretty. So that's those that are all the same size. And I've got some little ones as well. Now that would be quite nice. The colour goes well with what's on the background. And I'm thinking perhaps some... Um, embellishment of that little tag it'll get me started anyway so I've got my ribbons that I did on a previous video and I'm going to use a bit of my snippet roll don't need much it's only a little one so I'm going to pop that there and I'm going to sew the button on first of all I'm going to stick the snippet roll on using the roller glue need to get them nipped off and got my thread and a needle and I'm going to sew the button on. I could have glued it on but I think I prefer it to be sewn on. I might watch some Netflix tonight and do um, some more buttons on ribbons I think. If I can relax I've been a bit fidgety lately it's all this unsettled um, stuff going on isn't it but everyone else is feeling the same. So that goes there. Now that immediately that's, that's got me going now. So I'm going to try out a few other things. I like that tag, but I'm going to use that in something else. I'm a slurp of my coffee.
just going to group a few things together. something vertically going up the page so I'm trying a few things out and you'll see me just trying that see that goes quite well but it obliterates a bit too much and there's no way I could cut all that detail out I'm trying this little insect he goes quite well but mm, not quite <laughs> I need something longer and thinner it was too much the same size as some of the other elements similarly with that butterfly So again, that's the same size. I need something long and thin. I'm beginning to realise that and I'm digging through my stash. Now that goes quite well, but it doesn't really suit the subject. I mean, it would be nice, but she's not a, I don't know, she's not gardening. She seems to be a bit sorrowful. And, I don't, and my garden is not a sorrowful place. It's my place of happiness. And I want my book to reflect that. So I found my little bit of um, watercolour that I've done the other night. And I'm just going to to disappear and get my scissors, my small scissors. Yeah, back with them now. I'm going to cut that out. I'll split that up a lot. Because it's quite slow. Now this is on watercolour paper. And unfortunately it's rather thick watercolour paper. I really must for this sort of thing. If I want to be cutting it out and sticking it down, I need to use a lighter weight watercolour paper. I'm sure I've got some somewhere. This is an old pad I bought many years ago actually. I think when I was in Venice. So that's a long time since I've been there. So it's a bit fiddly, but worth it. I mean, I could have just painted something on directly, actually, using acrylics. And I'm using some three-in-one glue to stick it down because it's so thick. I don't think any other glue would hold it so well. That's it, that's what it needed, something to tie that page all together. So I'm pleased with that, I'm just going to trim off the um, loose edges. That's my first page. because I lost some of my ink edges when I cut it out. So I'm just reinforcing those. I very rarely just draw around something, but I'm doing it in this case because it's kind of a pale picture. There, now the next page. So I'm going to cut out some of the leaves that I painted. something on the left hand side now. That's a bit bland, but that's better. And I've gone for that. That's lovely. I like the shape of it and the colours. And I'm going to include a little bit on the left of this green. everything down.
just using glue stick to um, stick these down but later on I can't remember if it's on camera or not I have to go in and reinforce the end, little ends because they didn't stick down very well um, so I'll go in later and use some of the three-in-one glue just to touch up those sticky up bits near the gutter Do some more of those leaves, they're good fun. It's just a simple wet and wet uh, watercolour technique. I'm trying to decide what needs something needs to go up there, but I can't decide what. As you can see, I try different things out, that's how I work. Something will come to me in a minute. I'm thinking perhaps a, a tab or something. I've also got a dirty mark on it from glue, I think. Oh, I'm looking at that insect again, but again, he's the same size as the leaves and he doesn't work. that is doing it for me so I'm going to make a little tab out of that it's good to go on both sides there we go and I like it on that page as well that's good Ooh, decided what to do then now what's going to come on this side I've got this beautiful picture of some roses but they need a background I'm going to cut them out so there's some um, interesting shapes but I need something on the background to show through. So I'm going to use some purple pages. So I basically collage those down around the edges. I'm just using glue stick for this. There we go. Suddenly, suddenly reappeared with it all cut out and ready to go on. I think I turned the camera off while I was cutting it out. I'm trying to think what else to put on. I did consider that face, but um, colour doesn't go. so many things this is part of the process for me though there I'm touching up the um, ends of those leaves I'm going to hold them down to the stuck and that did the trick now I'm going to work on the next page um, what a feeling you don't see all of this so I'm going to turn that into um, a tag 
and you're going to have some paper on the back that you can write on, or I can write on. So I'm going to pop that there and that goes quite well. And that's going to go there. I'm just placing things down, trying to decide. Unfortunately, I think it's at this point that my camera back, uh, my camera, camera memory went and I carried on working though and you'll see the finished pages at the end of this video as I do a little uh, flick through. These two pages turn out quite good in the end. So it's the next day, my camera has got some memory now and it's all charged up with battery and I'm working on the next two pages. You'll see the previous pages later. And I've decided to paint these two pages. And I'm thinking of garden colours and it is my garden journal so it's going to influence the way I work. I'm working in the same way that I work on my abstracts. Um, I had laid down some tissue paper, which you can see the texture of showing through. And the tissue is that tissue that I have that's got little um, tiny bits of sparkling. And it does show through, but it's hard to see. I can see it. I run on coffee mostly. some marks with a little tube dipped in paint that was good fun reinforcing some of the darks there decided to roll around some white so I'll get it back a bit and I'll work in some more building up the texture feels strange working at this smaller size I must say it does get it done a lot quicker when it's smaller and I'm not doing quite so many layers colours I'm using, the green is the chromium green, I'm using Payne's grey for the dark, I'm using white, I'm using lemon yellow and I'm using a little bit of raw sienna as well. And I'm making some marks with the oil pastels. I 
think they are giving the feeling of um, a garden. And the yellow is representing the sunlight. So that's the painting done. I'm just going to add a little bit of text on there. Through, uh, through the stencil with a sponge. And I'm using the um, Payne's Grey mixed with the Chromium Green. So now I want to add some collaged elements. So I'm going to include this tag because the colours go really well and it's garden themed. And I'm going to make a pocket for it to sit in. It's going to go there like that. Just trim it down to size. going to include some of the tissue, the napkin that has birds on it. Just removing the two layers with some tape to get the final translucent layer. And using the water technique um, on a brush, I'm drawing around the set of birds I want to use. On the right hand side, now initially I thought of putting them up there and on there, but they, I decided to put them on the bottom right. And I use spray mount to glue it down. And I'm trying to think what I want to use on that and I've decided another, another part of that napkin would be very nice on that. So I glue some of it down and I also glue the um, the open bit together I trim it all oops sorry about my head popping in there there I did like that mm, I like that so I'm just using this tape roller tape I may later on go in and reinforce the corners with some eyelets, although I don't want to spoil the other page. So that's it. That's that page. I love that. I'm so pleased with it. I'm going to show you what the book looks like now. So that's the first page you saw me make, like that. Then this page, and I added a tab there, so I figured out what to do. This is the page that you missed because my camera died on me so I've got a pocket there with some cards I can write on and I've got a large tag and a little one and I can pop those in a little little pockets there which I've sewn all around the edges and then there's this page so that's um, a good start on my gardening journal there we are thanks for watching bye